Hey everyone, this is Miles from Quadcopter Land and welcome back for part two of the DJI Phantom 4 Pro Obstacle Test. If you guys haven't seen my first video, you might want to go ahead and check it out. There's some things I'm going to recap on. From the first test, we've noticed that on these side infrared sensors, they're having a hard time picking up blacks. Another thing I found out is some of these front and rear sensors on real bright surfaces are also having a hard time picking up bright surfaces and almost running into them. So today we're going to do some more tests. One of the tests is going to be see if it'll land on water. Another test is going to be see if it goes to any type of nets or we've already done the trees but I may do a couple more trees for you today. We're going to see if it'll actually fly into like an incline like a hill or something and the, and the bird's trying to go straight into the dirt. We're going to get at a shot too. So stay tuned, check out my video and let's see what we got. All right, our first test is to see if the Phantom 4 Pro is going to land on water. So I already got my compass calibrated. Let's get her in the air, see what it looks like. Take off. The hook point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Okay, like I said to you guys before, I'm going to recap on some of these things. The sensors don't pick up on the blacks as well, don't pick up on the lights, and when you're flying in sport mode, it turns off all the sensors. But when you're in beginner mode, it does have all the sensors going all the way around. So you got 360 degree obstacle avoidance. So we can go ahead and take it down, bring it right over the water. It's picking up the water. That is a very good start. So let's go ahead and bring it back up. That's very good. So we passed the first test one more time. So let's try it again. Okay, you hear that beep? It's not letting me land in the water. So that's actually pretty good. Go ahead and zoom in a little bit so you guys can see that. So that's a good start. So now we're gonna simulate, like if I'm doing a recording and I'm accidentally moving over to the left, see if it picks up this tree. Oh, it stopped, it looked like it picked up the tree. The LED lights on the back of the Phantom are flashing gr bright green. So let me pull it back and do it with the uh, vision face sensors in the front. It stopped, that is fantastic. So it's not hitting the tree. Let's try rear facing. So let's push her on out. Bring her on back in. Let's see if it senses the tree, it stopped. Yeah, it stopped. That's actually pretty good. I'm flying into the net now to see if it picks it up. No, it did not pick it up. <laughs> Let's try it again. No, it's, it's, it's picking up a little late. So let's try to turn it to the side. Lift it up a little bit, see if it picks it up. It's not picking up the net. Well, it's picking up kind of late, so got to be careful there okay our next test is see if the Phantom 4 will land on water so let's lower it and see if it land you hear it beeping it won't let me land on water so that is fantastic I think that is great because uh, the older Phantoms it'll land right there on the water all right now we're going to see if the Phantom will go into this sign or this garbage on the ground. So move it forward. Uh, it did not pick up the sign as well as I would like. So let's try this again. Let's move it over here a little bit. Let's try it from this way. Move it forward. It is not picking it up. That is pretty strange. Uh, it's a bright surface, so that may be the reason why. It is not picking it up. But it looks like it's picking up the nets that's behind it. So I'm gonna lower it down, see if I move it forward. It did pick up the nets, so that's very good. That did work, but it did not pick up that sign. All right, the next test is see if the Phantom 4 will go into the hillside. So we're gonna try to make it go into the hillside. It stopped perfectly. Let's bring it back, give it a shot again. All right, let's move it forward, see what we got. It stopped, that's perfect. You see how the LEDs are flashing? Let's bring it back. 
Now remember we're in, we are in the beginner mode, so I'm gonna turn it to the left. And let's take it in and see what we got. It is stopping. That's perfect. Let's see if the Phantom 4 could pick up these bars. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. It looks like it picked it up. It stopped pretty well. And as you guys can see, it stopped right there in front of the bars. So let's try texting that. Let's uh, turn it to the side. Move it back. We're going to go to the right. We're going to come back to the left. It's not letting me. See how the LEDs are flashing real fast on the back, the green LEDs? All right, let's try it from the rear. Let's go to the left a little bit. Let's go forward. Let's try to go back. It stopped. And the LEDs are blinking bright green. So it didn't fail on this one. Now our next test is to see if it's going to avoid any of these weeds in, on this low terrain. Very good. It looked like it stopped. Worked just perfect. Let's turn it to the side. Move it to the right. Let's see if these side sensors will pick it up. Up it stopped. That's pretty good. Thank you guys for watching part two of the Phantom 4 Obstacle Avoidance. I will have to say, it's pretty good. It's not 100%, as you guys well know from the volleyball net, from about to hit that little sign that was on the ground. One thing I can say, once again, that if it's a dark black surface, these sensors don't pick up very well on the side. And on cer certain reflective materials like mirrors and or like that sign that was like a bright silver or white, whatever color it was, these front stereo sensors and the rear stereo sensors do not pick up very well. So just keep that in mind. When, when the 360 obstacle avoidance is running, it's only in beginner mode anyway, so you're not really going to be going over 5 miles an hour, but it's not 100%, so do not rely on this 100%. But other than that, it is fantastic. Uh, as far as this being my second one and the replacement, this has been working fantastic so far. So I really appreciate you guys, you guys, I'm sorry, watching. Please subscribe below if you like my channel. If you have any comments or if you'd like me to go ahead and do an obstacle test on something else, go ahead and write a comment on that and I'll see if I can get a video going for that as well. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.